Word 2010 has a number of features designed for handling longer documents. Before you start to use them you should show the navigation pane which you do from the view tab within the ribbon. The navigation pane appears down the left hand side of the document and you'll begin to see how it works as we start adding styles and headings to the document in question. If we move back to the Home tab and start applying heading styles to the headings within our document, you'll see that the titles of the headings appear in the Navigation tab down the left-hand side of the document. And as you add more headings, so they continue to appear. Jumping forward to a version that I've previously marked up, you can see that subheadings and sub-subheadings are also uh, shown in the navigation pane and that clicking on any of these will automatically take you to the particular heading that you've marked into your document. As long as you use the headings labelled Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, Heading 4 etc within the sets of styles in your document this structuring of the text into effectively a, a, a built-in outline of your document happens completely automatically. The navigation pane enables you to move through your document not only by clicking on the various headings within it but also by moving up and down one heading at a time through any of the ones that you've previously selected and by using these three tabs at the top you can also show thumbnails of the pages in your document and move directly from one to another by clicking on the thumbnails. Also if you click on the down selector next to the search function you can move through your document looking at graphics, tables, equations, footnotes. We select tables and then use the up and down arrow. We can go through the various tables within the document without having to navigate all the text in between.